Well, good morning, friends. It is a Saturday, and I'm sharing a day with me today. It is going to be fun day as I have my parents coming over to visit for a couple hours. They live about two hours away, and so they decided to come up for the day. I'm not sure what time they're getting here, but I'm trying to get a few things done while I wait for when they show up and so it should be fun to have them visit they haven't been here since before all the COVID thing hit so like February time we have seen them a couple times though but they just haven't been here um yeah and we were gonna paint our little house uh fixer upper do a little more painting last night and today but it rained so we have not done any of that <laughs> <My dad. laughs> and so um, we're gonna hold off on that and maybe paint some more this afternoon. We'll see. It's supposed to be another hot, humid day with a hundred heat index. So, um, right now I'm gonna fold Nevaeh's cloth diapers. I washed her, like all her cloth inserts in some funk rock on the stove. I use the funk rock, like three tablespoons in boiling water and let that boil for like an hour to get all the ammonia out because it's, the funk rock's a great ammonia buster. And then I'll do her normal washing cycle as well. So I'm going to fold all those up because she's been in disposable diapers for the last several days. So we're going to take care of that and then see when my parents get here. You going to help me? You going to help me? Can you help me? Are you gonna push? Which one are you gonna push? Huh? Yeah, the spray foam does look really good. And they didn't go up there. No, we didn't. Through the ceiling, I guess. I think he's just gonna put batting. Yeah. Yeah, that looks really good. In there, put concrete in there, and you have your shop. Yeah, they did really good. Mhm. Why didn't we do the ceiling with spray foam? Are you just because gonna... it like doubled the cost? <laughs> That's what I thought. And you're just gonna do batting in there? No, plumbing yeah. insulation. Oh, plumbing. Okay. Okay, you better pick them. Yeah, go ahead. That's what I do too. But I can't tell with the sun sometimes because it's yeah, no, this, so bright it makes this, it look this white. Not yellow, yellow by any means, but it's. Yeah. Here's Blaze's workplace, his new facility where he's moving. There's a volunteer mulberry bush, so if we take, yeah, if we get rid of ours right here, this is lower too than our tree. Some of them are ready. I know. It's. Oh, I've, mulberries. mulberries, yeah. The van and I, when we've walked out here, have come out to pick some and I'll just pop them in her mouth. I've already picked like a gallon or two from my tree. Oh, nice. Oh, there we go. <laughs> to the left, then, too? Is that where the. That's where the. That's not my area. Just, just that wall. You can kind of see that. Left side, that's the kind of like the dividing. Originally, we were going to have cubic Nevea, dividers. What's between grandma the two feeding you? But they don't have any cubic dividers that are Mulberries? light enough to put up. Is anybody in any of it resting? Mm. No, not really. <laughs> they come in every once in a while. Well, my parents are already gone. They were literally here for five hours, got here at nine, left at about two. So we tried to cram a lot into a short amount of time to show them everything we have going on with our little fixer upper. If you didn't notice, my husband is moving. So not literally moving out himself, but his business is moving out of the basement garage and our little shed we have into about a 4,000 square foot space. So, so fun, so exciting. That's next weekend already, or this weekend, because you're seeing this on Tuesday. So, yeah, that is so exciting. Nevaeh's down for some quiet time. Um, for lunch, I didn't show you what we had, but you saw my dad was picking some sweet corn I have. He's a farmer, so he knows a lot about his crops. He's been a farmer his whole life, grew up with a dad who farmed. So we had some sweet corn, the first pick of the season, so good. And then we had beets and um, like a teriyaki chicken. What else? There's something else. Oh, and a potato. So it was really a good meal. Very easy um, 
just a lot of the homegrown stuff which I've been loving during this time of year it's so good to have that fresh produce but I'm gonna fill Nevaeh's little pool up I think it's supposed to rain again but um, we can get a little swim time in before that happens so yeah we'll do that um, what else did we get to do I don't know just showed you a lot yeah the spray foam is in and the fixer upper our little cottage and we just talked about different ways to work in the kitchen counters, like mini fridge, stove or no stove, apartment style stove, we're not sure. So if you've got ideas, we don't have a lot of space, maybe we'll have to take you over another time and just get your guys' input on all of that stuff. And like what size of TV should we have? I mean all of those things that um, I can't imagine building a brand new house. So this 450 square foot space is enough for us for now. All right, I'm gonna fill her pool and um, get that going. Well, while Nevea is down for her rest time, I thought I'd give you a garden update. I did one on my Instagram stories, if you're not following me there, it's just Davy Killian. But anyways, this is the new garden I did um, this year, so it's a brand new garden. Zucchini struggling. I think I messed with it when I was putting in my rock border. So I love my rock border. The rock, rocks are free. It's from um, a camp where we used to live actually several years ago before we moved to this place. But anyways, it is looking really good in here. I'm loving this space. Can't wait to expand it next summer. Uh, so yeah, I got some sage there. Those are my zucchini. Black Eyed Susans, Catmint, I transplanted that from a different space. The grasses, my strawberry plant, and it is putting on shoots there, which I'm totally okay with because I want this area to be strawberry. Yes, I know it takes over, it's almost like a weed, but that's okay. My cucumbers are climbing up that trellis real nicely. My other ones were eaten by ants, so I put the seed in there, and so they're gonna be late. I need to probably build a trellis like up to here because I know they can get tall. More catmint. Um, tomatoes. Yes, I'm so excited about all my different tomatoes. I have four plants here and then four more in the garden back there. Um, cabbage is not doing well. Curry here. Now that's doing really well. It smells so good. And then a lavender plant there. This zucchini plant is doing good. Yeah, there was even, yeah, there's one zucchini on there, but we'll see. Daisies are past their prime. I do not know where to put my rose bush, so if you have an idea in this garden, I should, um, I've got to remember, tomatoes won't be there next year, so I could put my rose bush there in the middle. I have some carrots hidden in there, my dill, some of these cone flower I got from a friend, transplanted those. My hydrangea, which keeps falling over. <laughs> this is a buckberry bush, so it'll produce some fruit, like um, blueberries. Then I have some beans back here, and then these are more transplants from some friends. So yeah, I'm loving the rock border. I'll eventually put some more stepping stones throughout, and then this will all be moving over there because those trees are going to come down and so this will be my garden area but i'm going to go show you my other garden which is on the other side of that fence over there well i have this one first this one is not good it's really did not produce as well as i would have liked i'll just show you i have lots of random sunflowers which i think are really pretty and fun oh they're coming along so yeah they're really cute random sunflower seeds there um, potatoes. Potatoes always do pretty well in part shade. These tomatoes are producing just not as well as I would like again. So I have what one two three eight tomato plants back here. Peppers. Um, they are flowering. Thank goodness. I didn't know if they would do anything or not. Onions are not going to do anything. I don't think at all. Just yeah, there's an onion right there. They're just not doing well. And then these carrots, I think, are too shady. So I don't know if they're going to do too much either. And another sunflower. I did have onions in the back there, but I don't know if it's just too shady or what. But, 
yeah these trees are a nuisance for our garden back here and the trees have grown so much in the last three years that we've lived here that it's time to move my garden zoning or garden area okay corn is doing really well as you can tell it's very tall i should be wearing sunglasses right now i'm not sure why i'm out here in the heat of the day but it is very 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 hot um corn like i said we picked some today and had some for supper so i have five rows of corn i planted those three sooner than these two but my dad said these two rows actually are more mature than those three so i don't know why that is if they get more sun he didn't know why either but yeah corn is doing great broccoli is never produced because it's bolting it's too hot so it's flowering thank you you guys for telling me that some of you ladies told me that another really awesome big tall sunflower just randomly right there um okay cabbage not doing too great um let's move around here carrots they ended up getting really shady so we'll see if they produce um, really shady from the sunflower plant i had turnips here they're all gone and i planted some beans that are a 52 day bean our first frost is like end of September, so they should come up bef or produce before then. We had some beets, like I said. That's what these are for supper. My peas are getting too hot and they're struggling. They're climbing up these vines here. You can see that they're just burning up, probably from the heat. So actually the peas that are in the shade here are doing a lot better. Oh, see, yeah. Perfect, pick a pea. These are yellow squashes. I do have squash bugs. I do not like to use chemical on them, but I have sprayed seven um, on these squashes because I really want produce from them. I have some beans in here, but my squash kind of overtook them. So yeah, I've got some, some beans in here. Um, so not enough <laughs> so that's why I planted more beans and then I have some pumpkins over here and cantaloupe this is cantaloupe here I'll show you a massive pumpkin I've got in here so excited for pumpkin season for fall this pumpkin there oh I see some more these are more of the decorative pumpkins here little guy I think there's another white little guy in there so cute i love those little decorative pumpkins and i have a couple more up over there but yeah squash bugs ah okay there they are that's what they look like i have to spray again i might need to get some new seven because it's a couple years old oh there's a couple more little guys so cute all right so that's fun that's really fun to have all that coming up excited for that other than the squash box. Can you sit down? Yes, sit down. I don't have a diaper on her. Because she pooped, so I thought, okay, she pooped. Yeah, cool. She's so cool. Yeah, mommy, sit down. Here we go. So we're just having leftover chicken pot pie from a couple nights ago. And then I have a whole wheat biscuit on top. It is really good. I kind of just made it up. I did follow a little bit of Farmhouse on Boone, um, the innards of the chicken pot pie, and then my own biscuit type recipe. So yeah, that was really good the other night. And then, um, yeah, we did get a Berkey water filter. I'm so excited about that. It's something that we needed was a water filter and um, I put it on my little stand here that I DIY'd. If you don't follow me on Instagram, like I said, I showed that on there, but I got this stand for five bucks at a garage sale and it wasn't green. I used the leftover green from the vanity I redid for our fixer upper. And then our Berkey sits there, um, cause that's, that's where it has to go because of the vent there and the door. It just doesn't work real well. So, um, anyways, that's there we may put coffee station I don't know the Berkey's just pretty large so I mean coffee station would work because the outlets are there but I'm not sure what my setup will be and then maybe I could move or have the crate hold some coffee type stuff instead of my herbs drying <laughs> I'm not sure but anyways we're gonna have supper and then it'll be Nevaeh's bath time
Well, everyone, I think it's time to call it a night. I had to go get some flowers and um, put those on our table. I didn't have time before my parents came this morning, so I wanted to get some cat mint and some echinacea. I just love having flowers on the table in the summer from my own garden. So I'm gonna end the night with um, a hot drink, tea or hot chocolate. I know it's really hot out, but I just, it's so calming to have something like that. Um, I need to clean up first though because it was so hot and sticky out today. So we'll do that and then I'm going to probably peruse Facebook Marketplace for items for the little place next door for a fixer upper. It's so fun looking at stuff to try to put things together from second hand and what better place than Facebook Marketplace. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day. Give it a like if you enjoyed this kind of random it's kind of all over the place. I apologize if it didn't really connect, but that's how the day was today, and that's just what happened. So anyways, um, I'll talk with you in my next video later this week. All right, bye. <music>